Hi, I'm Santunu. In this video, we'll discuss about adding an image slider to a web page using Ajax and Shisha. So, to display image slideshow in our web page, uh, what are the basic requirement? The requirement is one image control, one timer control, and uh, one script manager also. Uh, because here I am using a timer control which is an Ajax control so I have to use the script manager also so first I will use a script manager then one timer control then one image control so first I have to set the property of uh, timer control so here the property is uh, interval uh, the interval property uh, so I will set 1000 so so what is 1000 if uh, I said the interval is 1000 then uh, every 1000 millisecond you see here uh, hit, uh, the duration between tick events in milliseconds so for every 1000 milliseconds time interval the uh, the event will fire then how it will work we know that the default event of timer control is tick so if I double click timer control then you see here uh, the default event is tick event so when this event will fire then images uh, will be changed in the image control when this event will fire then image will change in the image control for every time interval and so for image slideshow control I will add for this image slideshow control I'll add 10 images to the solution explorer and keeping in a new folder. So first I will add a folder. So name details images. Then I will add 10 images to the images folder. So add existing item Now I have added 10 images to the solution explorer So now I have to write the course uh, within the uh, within this uh, tick event uh, which will change the will which will change the images on the web page so uh, what I have to do so first uh, we have to create a random class and random class Suppose rant equal to new rant, new random. Then random class will contain a function next. Random class suppose I will call by object so rand dot uh, uh, next. And it one and Ten. So, what is it? Uh, 
so random class will contain a function this next uh, function next which will give random number so for this class we have to define the minimum and maximum value it is minimum value and uh, 10 is maximum value so we have to define the minimum and maximum value for random number because we have 10 images so minimum value will be 1 and maximum value will be 10 so now uh, what I have to do then I have to display image according to the image URL so uh, how can I display uh, by using image URL so it is image one dot image URL so the images uh, are contained in a folder uh, images folder so uh, here I have to write this type then here I will use concatenation operator so uh, to define uh, to initialize the random number uh, I will take it as int int i equal to rand dot next so here i will i dot to string then file extension it is dot jpg so what happened here uh, here i value will give any random number from 1 to 10 and this uh, uh, then it will it will comes to here and then it will give the images and it will give the image url so then according to then what happened here uh, in the tick event what happened here random class object random class object rand uh, will give any random number from 1 to 10 then according to i value according to i value the images will be changed so now i will run the program now you observe what is happening the page is refreshing repeatedly because why the page is refreshing repeatedly because when tick event of timer control is firing because when tick event of timer control is firing for every one second so there is a in there is interval is thousand millisecond it means one second so whenever tick event of timer control is firing uh, for every one second then full page full page is posted back from the server so for this problem uh, how we can solve so here I will use a partial pushback concept so for this I will use an Ajax control that is update panel and then first update panel 
so going to source code i will keep here update panel suppose update 1 then within that we have to write content template then within content template I will keep the both timer control and image control Now it is our update panel. Now I will run the program. Now you observe the page is not refreshing repeatedly and uh, what is happening here when tick event will fire then when tick event will fire then only part of the page means this update panel this update panel will post back from the server which we call partial push back and the part of the page except update panel remains same which will not post it back from the server so So this is our image slider implementation. So this is our image slider implementation by using timer control as image control. So thanks.